What's going on guys? It's Ashford from Hashtag Bricks here in, with a new mock. This is the forklift. I told you guys, well, I might have told you guys I was building it. Knew I told you guys I was working on my construction vehicles, but I don't know if I um, ever said which ones I was going to be working on. That, that's because I hadn't fully decided. I had two and this was, and I knew it was ever going to be, um, my forklift, or like a crane, or a front loader, but, well, yeah, and I wanted, so, so I just started building, and wound up, um, with the, uh, forklift, so yeah, let's get a closer look at it. Alright, starting with the back, you can see, um, I did tail lights. Pretty happy with the right way the grill worked out, and then you can see I've got little sword slots for the construction workers' drill. Um, you can see I know I'm not gonna take out the construction worker because you can see who he is. I did a closer look at him in my previous video. Um, I in the corner for that as well as the last 20 seconds of the video. Um, I also included a walkie-talkie. Um, so he can communicate with the other construction workers while he's like separated or on a different part of the site. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see I did a little, I forget what these are called, a little barrier, like a little bumper to shield it from the actual fork. Um, you can see I did the fork and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's just a simple... Um, little Technic built based um, thing, but the only thing is you can see I can raise it up, I can raise it down, but if I raise it up and then let it go, it's just gonna fall. Um, I've worked on the fork for a couple of building sessions, probably a few hours in total, um, and I just couldn't figure out how a way to get around it, um, and the ways, well, I couldn't figure out any way to get around this happening, and e when I even started to get close, it was just so bulky and ugly that I just figured, you know what, it's more of just looking pretty instead of actually being functional anyway. Um, you can see here, this is, um, the way I developed the chassis. Um, from the other side, it's alright, I mean, it's certainly no, it certainly wouldn't be a set, but, um, oh no, he fell out, but you can see what I did there, actually, I'll put him it back in, um, in just a second, um, but in going back around to the back, you can see I did put in a little bit of engine detail, that's another thing, um, I I could have done better, I wish I did better, and like I said, this is Lego, nothing's ever truly finished, so I will probably come back, you can see it's got a, um, the blower element, plus, um, some, some, some simulated cylinders with just a few studs, um, but yeah, I probably will go back in there eventually, and, um, like, improve what detail I have in there because I mean there is a lot of engine detail that I could compact it or compact into here um and another thing I'll fix is like I said of course I will fix the fork eventually and I'm just tearing this up that's why we can't have nice things guys <laughs> um yeah and then with the main cab itself um I wanted to fit in a roll cage but I didn't really have any um just yet I didn't really have any of the roll cage elements um, in my parts collection currently, so windshield worked just fine, and besides, it's not like it's going to really, this isn't a vehicle that's really going over the cab, or lifting anything over the cab, so this guy should be pretty safe, um, I know most forklifts do have a roll cage, but like I said, just didn't have one, and all for all was happy with the way it turned out. Um, you can see the main lever. I don't know if this would be a gear shift or 
would actually operate the forklift on. Um, I know I should probably put a, in a second lever to have both, but for right now I wanted to keep it pretty simple, um, particularly since, as you can see, there is a pretty cramped space in there, and then just a steering wheel. A um, little bit of detail, like side curvature, um, and then I've got the wheels. Um, this was a choice, this wasn't needing to have it that way, this was a choice to make it look more industrial, um, because as you can see, if you have the two views this way, um, definitely fits in better instead of the actual way, or, well, that makes it look like it has hubcaps of spokes. Um, yeah, let me, let me put this tire back on and then go cut and I'll put this back on. One thing is you do have to take the windshield off if you do want to, t uh, to take the minifig in and out. Um, I'm almost positive I don't have him all the way in, but, um, yeah, that is just the way his hands are and everything. You do have to just finagle with it a little and, like I said, take the windshield off. Um, to, ha to simulate doors, I put these two bricks, um, back in and, yeah, that's just about all I've got for you today. Um, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it. If you really liked it and want to see more videos like this, as well as a bunch of other LEGO-related content, please consider subscribing. Um, yeah, if you would, if you like pop culture, science, and technology, please consider, um, checking out our other channel as we do video essays, um, pertaining to all three of those. But yeah, uh, more content is always on the way, and I will see you in the next video.